Raw food. How to make the best easy creamy sweet corn chowder in minutes. I've tried a lot of raw food recipes for corn chowder. Some were thin and runny and some overly spiced. Some not very sweet. I love the sweet creamy corn chowder and finally found what I think works best. Here are some inside tips and secrets to making it the best and still makes it very simple. Here is how to make the perfect or best corn chowder. I love easy recipes and those that I can make in just a few minutes. Some raw recipes are complex, have too many ingredients and you can slave over them for an hour or two. This recipe you can make in just a few minutes if you have the fresh raw almond milk on hand. For this recipe you can use fresh corn, but that takes a lot of work and you have to cut all the kernels off the four ears of corn which can be time consuming. If you have corn in your garden or have access to a lot of corn you may want to do that. You'll find you can't get enough of this corn chowder. In fact the first time I made it I nearly devoured all four servings at once. Instead I use a package of frozen organic sweet corn. I like the package from Trader Joe's. If you have a Trader Joe's near you pick some up. You can also use it for yummy raw corn chips. If not you can use the other brands available at Whole Foods or New Seasons or other Whole Food markets. But get organic. It's not genetically modified GMO. Also try to get sweet corn. Make the almond milk in advance or night before. Assuming you know how to make it. I use one cup of almonds two three cups of water and sweeten with one tablespoon of agave nectar. You can make it the night before but you want it as fresh as possible. You'll only be using two cups of it. The pureed corn in the recipe automatically makes it thicken. Avocados help to thicken the soup too. You can make this in a regular blender but you want to make sure the corn has thawed and it may be a little bit chunkier than using a high-speed blender. For a high-speed blender like Vitamix or Blendtec you can use partially thawed corn. Helen's Easy Sweet Corn Chowder for cups of fresh or frozen corn kernels fresh would be approximate. For ears of corn if frozen thought or partially thought 2 cups of almond milk 1 ripe avocado 1 eighth of a teaspoon of cumin 2 teaspoons minced red onion or can use olive oil sweet or yellow onion 1 half of a teaspoon sea salt put all ingredients in a blender corn almond milk avocado cumin onion and sea salt blend very well pour into soup bowls and serve into a large glass mason jar and refrigerate corn chowder will keep about 3 days or so you can't hop with sliced green onions if have any but you'll find you don't need to. You can serve flax crackers with sunny pate with it. Serves from 1 to 4 depending on how hungry you are. You don't have to be a raw water, raw foodist or veg and to thoroughly enjoy this sweet or dicting soup. You'll find you can make it year-round and don't have to wait for corn to harvest. This is one of my raw food recipe basic staples and I serve this easy sweet corn chowder to friends and family. And raw food, how to make the best easy creamy sweet corn chowder in minutes. I've tried a lot of raw food recipes for corn chowder. Some were thin and runny and some overly spiced. Some not very sweet. I love the sweet creamy corn chowder and finally found what I think works best. Here are some inside tips and secrets to making it the best.